it's that time of year for a lot of very lucky students. They're either graduating from high school, college, or trade school. Today, I would like to show you how I created this card that I'm going to be sending to my granddaughter. So let's get started. This is the set I'm using. It's from Technique Tuesday. And because there are no dies, I will be fussy cutting this piece right here. I've already cut out these pieces. I'm going to trim this down. My gold is five and a quarter by four, so I will be cutting this down. So this is going to be four and three quarters by three and a half. And that's like two steps down. And I wanted to be able to show off the gold a little bit more. Just like so. Now let's go ahead and attach that. This paper here I got from Michael's just the separate sheets sections last year no a couple years ago for my niece's graduation now here's my card base it's made of 110 pound cardstock cut five and a half scored at four and a quarter and so I will be stepping that first in the inside just in case I don't want to make any mistakes. So let's put that on. And I will be using my Versifying Onyx Black. It gives a nice crisp image. going to be stamping stars around it in gold. I have a set here from Delicata 4 from Sukineko. all over like so Ugh. see <laughs> now I already stamped this one out colored it with my gray cool gray outlined it in black for some shading and then use my gold jelly roll pen for the tassel and the little button on the top. I will go ahead and cut that out. You can leave a border or not. That's totally up to you. Okay. Lay that aside. I'm going to go ahead and cut out a real pretty sentiment piece with this. I'll be right back. Okay. Makes a nice 
stitched piece. Congratulations, grad. Again, in my Versafine. I'll try not to get it all over my fingers and thumbs this time. And we're going to put this down at the bottom so I have room for the mortarboard. And also, I'm going to be stamping the rose, but I'm going to be doing it in my Soft Brown Hero Arts ink because I'm going to use watercolor pencil over the top. On this one, I used alcohol markers and it was a little bit too thick, so I'm going to try the watercolor. light here and then darker in the inside and just kind of spread it out as we go and then okay A little bit more muted, but easier to see the shading. And let's go ahead and attach this to the front and all our pieces. I will be using these to pop up the mortar board. These are from Amazon. on first before I attach the mortarboard. about there. Now you can certainly embellish. I don't know if I have any black. Oh yeah, I do. They're kind of a dark gray. Let's, let's use those enamel dots. How cool is that? Okay. And that completes the card. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. And congratulations to your graduate. Bye-bye.